there are three type of conductance you will be learning from this video type of conductance type of actually electrolytic conductance electrolytic conductance so from this video you will be learn learning three types of electrolytic conductance first one is kappa second one is lambda m third one is lambda equivalent okay first one is called kappa means specific conductance or conductivity conductivity specific conductance or conductivity second one it is called molar conductance or conductivity uh, sorry molar conductance or molar conductivity now third one is called equivalent conductance right so there are three type of conductance and we will be discussing them thoroughly and every confusion you have regarding this will be clarified here after that we will be uh, learning their interconversion okay now first one is specific conductance we know from ohm's law kappa equal to phi into lambda phi means cell constant l by a okay that means basically l upon a into lambda right if l is 1 cm a is 1 Centimeter square, then the system will have volume equal to length. Volume equal to area into length. So one centimeter square into one centimeter that is one semi cube, and one semi cube is nothing but one mL, right? Now, if these two things one into one, then kappa is basically equal to lambda, isn't it? So specific conductance or conductivity will be equal to conductance. so from here we can conclude that specific conductance write with me specific conductance is conductance of 1 ml electrolytic solution electrolytic solution 1 ml means you know this is 1 ml that means 1 into 1 that means l upon a is 1 that means conductance of 1 ml solution is basically kappa now there are few very very important points about this specific conductance what are those this is basically it is basically intensive property it is basically intensive property that means you can't add kappa in last class we also have discussed that intensive means it is non additive you can't can't add kappa right okay now third point is as it is in intensive it means it is amount independent intensive properties are amount independent okay now it depends upon kappa depends upon two things at first one is nature of electrolyte concentration of electrolyte and temperature three things actually temperature so upon these three things this kappa value of a solution depends second one is molar conductance if there is a solution with concentration 1 molar 1 molar concentration of electrolyte that solution will have a conductance will be called molar conductance So molar conductance basically, you can say molar conductance is basically conductance of one mole electrolytic solution. Electrolytic solution conductance basically one mole electrolytic solution conductance of one mole electrolytic solution. It is also, it is also intensive. It is also non-additive. okay now the last one that is equivalent conductance equivalent conductance means basically conductance of conductance of a solution where 1 gram equivalent 
in this case there was one mole and here it is one gram equivalent electrolyte electrolyte is dissolved electrolyte is dissolved so this is basically definition of equivalent conductance now suppose i have uh, prepared a solution in this particular volume i have added one mole uh, electrolyte then the conductance of this solution will be called molar conductance but if i have added one one gram equivalent electrolyte then the conductance will be called equivalent conductance and from this solution if i take one ml portion of it if i take one ml portion of it then conductance of this one ml portion will be called specific conductance or conductivity i hope it's clear to you now what is the relation between this lambda m and lambda equivalent okay kappa is very much easy because it's nothing but um it's nothing but conductivity of 1 ml solution so first let's discuss the relationship between kappa and lambda m then lambda m will be related to lambda equivalent so now we are going to learn inter relation inter relation of kappa lambda m and lambda equivalent okay now let's take one example suppose i have 1 liter solution 1 liter solution and m mole electrolyte m mole m mole electrolyte is dissolved i have added m mole electrolyte here now molarity of the solution molarity will be molarity means mole per liter solution there m mole i have added so molarity will be m right now we know kappa is conductance of 1 ml solution okay so 1 ml solution will have conductance equal to kappa right now here i have 1 liter that means 1000 ml 1000 ml solution will have conductance equal to 1000 kappa there should be no confusion now in this 1 liter or 1000 ml solution there is m mole electrolyte so that means basically m mole electrolyte electrolyte solution will have conductance equal to 1000 kappa now one mole solution will have 1000 kappa by m and one mole solution will have this amount of conductance so according to definition of lambda m molar conductance it is the same thing right conductance of one mole solution one mole electrolyte solution so from here we are getting lambda m equal to 1000 kappa upon m okay or sometimes it is written in book it is 1000 kappa by c so m is replaced by c it is 1000 kappa by c it is a very 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 important equation so many mcq so many numericals arises from there okay now if i want to derive the unit of lambda m from here 1000 will have no unit now kappa will have unit we know kappa equal to we know kappa equal to lambda into phi lambda is basically 1 by ohm that means basically siemens and this cell constant will have semi inverse so kappa will have unit siemens semi inverse concentration will have unit mole per liter that means mole liter inverse and from liter inverse from uh, siemens semi inverse we can convert it to semi to the power minus 3 mole semi to the power minus 3 
Iter is basically decimeter cube, but from here, uh, from that thousand factor, it will not contribute in unit determination, right? This is basically number conversion factor. So, Siemens semi square mole inverse. So this will be unit of lambda m. Now, so first two things, kappa and lambda m, we have connected them, right? Now, so first connection we have made, kappa and lambda m, then the second part. Now, what we have learned till now is lambda m equal to thousand kappa upon c. Similarly, lambda equivalent will be thousand kappa upon n, that is normality. And here it unit is Siemens semi square mole inverse. And that simple difference will be Siemens semi square gram equivalent inverse because simply mole is replaced by gram equivalent. Nothing is changed. Now from this equation, I, we can write thousand kappa upon C into N factor. How you can write that? Because molarity into N factor equal to normality. Right, so C basically molarity into N factor. That is basically normality. Now thousand kappa by C, this part is basically lambda M. So lambda M by N factor, isn't it? So from here we can write N factor equal to nothing but lambda M upon lambda equivalent. Lambda N upon lambda equivalent. So molar lambda M and lambda equivalent are connected through N factor. Okay, I hope you have understood it, right? Okay. For any salt, if it is said that uh, calculate lambda m upon lambda equivalent, then no information is required unless and until the formula of that salt. If you have the formula, you can derive that easily. Okay. In any another video, we will later discuss how to calculate n factor. It is basically part of some basic concepts of chemistry. We will be discussing in later lectures till now. Have a nice day. Goodbye. I hope you have understood it. If you have understood, let me know in the comment section. Okay. Thank you.